right, boys, we are back. The NHL leading Columbus Blue Jackets. Unbelievable, eh? I don't believe it. 89 points. We are first in the NHL, but we got a big decision here. We got trade deadline ahead of us. And even though even though our team seems to be clicking, I told you guys in the last video there's a bunch of changes. Well, not a bunch of changes. Two two keys that I wanted to pick up for our playoff run. A third line grindy ass player and doesn't have to be a grinder, but power somebody good defensively, better than offensively. All right, someone who's a lot better than Yakupov in that position, and then also a third line offensive defenseman to help out with the power play. That's it. That's it. All right, just two keys. So go back to the trading block. I know you show I showed you guys in the last video, but it's actually a few players that we can really make some good moves for here. Uh, first up, Brad Marchand. All right, Brad Marchand. And actually, Kelly, all these guys. But Brad Marchand will be that perfect third-line left winger for us. All right? He's young. He's uh, He's got great defensive categories. So we got to memorize that. Boston, all right? And they're going to want some youth. So that's good. That's good. We have plenty of youth we can trade away. So Boston, we're going to have to remember. Uh, keep going here. Um, there's a few players. Vermette I was thinking about, but we're not going to get Vermette back. We'll leave him. Uh, who else was it? Florida, Brian Campbell for that offensive defenseman. I know his salary is a bit much, but we can easily afford it and move it at the end of the season, all right? He's still a good offensive defenseman. So Boston and Florida, uh, keep going here. Fisher was one for Nashville, all right? Even though they don't really have any uh, offensive defense. Well, they do, but they're young guys like Ryan Ellis and Bloom. I'm not going to be able to get those guys. Uh, Talender, Volchenkov, no. Phillips and Gonchar, these two guys are both uh, defensemen that we could use. All right, so Ottawa, Boston, uh, what was that other team? Crap, I forget. Boston, and uh, what was it, Boston? I got to remember this before I go in. Ottawa, Boston, Florida, right, right, right. Philly, Schlemko, Ottawa, Boston, Florida. And that looks like it's it. Okay, so it's Ottawa, Boston, and Florida. Those are our main teams that we can trade with. All right, boys? So we're going to start it up in this video. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish it all. I'm hoping we can. It's just these two spots. So trade negotiations. Oh, and we only have one cell phone. Ooh. It's going to be dangerous. All right. You're trying to give me Curtis Foster a fourth and a sixth for Dorset and a first and a second. You know, this is actually like the kind of the player I'm looking for, isn't it? No, a defensive defenseman. No, thank you. Very nice offer, but no thank you. Okay, so... Let us start with our forward first, because technically our defensive aspect of the game is fine. We don't need to change that. Well, we don't need to change it, but I want to change it. But first, I want to deal with this uh, offensive problem here. So we got, we'll just sort it by forwards. We got Brad Marchand, who's 24 years old, 2.5 mil. There he is, two-way forward, tw uh, five foot nine, B minus, B minus, B minus. It's all perfect. Look at his offensive categories. Not bad, mid-80s, but I love his defensive category. Aggressiveness, body checking, defensive awareness, and discipline. All right, and he still has the B-minuses, so they could still get even better. So, yeah, I think this is this is the perfect pickup for us right here. So, we'll try to get this. There you go, Brad Marchand. All right. Uh, ooh, they actually have Shane Doan as well. I'm not going to try and get Shane Doan, but uh, let's see if there's any offensive defense that we could throw in here as well. Uh, Chara, no, <laughs> uh, no, okay. So it's just it's just gonna be a one-up trade for Brad Marchand, okay? So we're gonna look through our uh, rosters here. Let's see if we can get him for a steal. So centers, touche. We gotta, I gotta figure out who I can trade away. So you guys were saying Huberto was uh, a steal, but look, just because he's good in real life doesn't mean he's gonna become good in this GMO commentary. I mean, look, he's not bad, but he could easily not become a player that we expected him to be. So that trade, you know, they start to not look as good as they were. Uh, yeah, so his trade value, there's no point in me trading him. He's got no trade value. Hold on to him until he gets some trade value. Uh, left wingers, Mason Raymond, he's not nah, going to hold on to him. Yakpov got to hold on to him. Nita Ryder, Kabanov, Joe Hansen. This is the Swedish guy, right? Ted Johansson, yeah. All right, so we got three left wingers there in Niederreiter, Kabanoff, Johansson. All right, right wingers. Grigorenko got to hold on to. Atkinson got to hold on to. Shaw. There's another three young guys. All right, Maroff looks like he could be somebody I could trade away. Hang on a sec though. 
defensemen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Quint. Who's this Quint guy? Roger Quint. Did I draft him? B B offensive defenseman too. Could use him in the future. Um, is he more important than Void? I'm using Voinov. I can't get rid of Voinov. Savard. Let's see. Offensive defense. B minus. Ooh, Savard's kind of falling off a little bit. Hmm. Who's our top six defenseman right now? One, two. You know what? I'm not going to trade a defenseman for a forward. I'll save my defenseman for a defenseman trade. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll save these. It's got to be a forward and some draft picks. Nabokov, Markstrom, Dubnik, Torstensen. No, our goalies we got to keep. All right, so it's got to be a draft pick and some. Okay, so you know what? I think we're going to add a first round pick, boys. I know. We don't need our first round picks anymore. If we're the first, if we're the, uh, first overall team. Hang on. Actually, do I have any draft picks after this? No, I don't even have any draft picks after this. So this will be, if I get rid of this, this is the last year of drafting. But we already have prospects. I don't need to move. And I, I'm going to have what a really late pick this year, right? Because of our good performance. So, yeah, I think I can do this. Okay, so a first. Um, we're going to have to add one of our prospects. Uh, got to keep spalling. Got to keep all these guys. It's got to be... Okay, so if I got a sniper, a sniper, a sniper, it's got to be Niederreiter or Kavanaugh. I'm going to keep Johansson because he's the two-way forward. It's got to be Niederreiter or Kavanaugh, boys, all right? Got all these young guns, got to trade them when I when I can kind of thing. All right, so we'll go through and see who's uh, better, Niederreiter or Kavanaugh. Nino Niederreiter, he's 20 years old, B-. minus. Oh, he doesn't have a high offensive rating anymore. Look at that, B- minus for offense. B-, minus, B-, minus, B. That's actually dropped a bit. He had an A- minus for offense the last time we checked, so that has dropped. Kirill Kabanov still has the BBB. All right, I actually like uh, Kabanov better than Niederreiter, boys. Um, Johansson, if we look at Johansson, he's got the B- minus as well, but he's the two-way forward. He's got the B for defense, and I like that. He could be somebody that we put on our third or fourth line. So I actually like him more than Niederreiter right now. Um, Grigorenko, we got to keep Atkinson. Maybe if to send Nita Ryder over Atkinson. Atkinson has the B minuses as well. Uh might want to keep Nita Ryder over Atkinson. Atkinson's already 23. Nita Ryder's only 20. Yeah, I want to keep Atkin uh Nita Ryder over Atkinson. Uh Shaw, I want to keep. Yeah, I want to keep Shaw. He still has the A. Alright, so it's gonna be Atkinson, alright, boys? This is why we have the young guns, so we can trade them away when we ha when we can. So a first and Atkinson. Remember, we only have one phone, so I want to make sure this goes through. A first and Atkinson for Brad Marchand. Um, I think I might add Maroff as well to it. Maxime Maroff, he's not bad, B-minuses, but he's already 23. He doesn't have 80s anywhere. That could easily turn into Cs next year, and he'll only be at the low 80s. There's our timer, so I'm going to add Maroff to the deal. All right, so a first, Atkinson. Maroff, Brad Marchand, uh, I still don't think that'll go through, so I'm just going to add a 7th and a 6th. Not big deal, boys, not a big deal, all right? Uh, my 7th and my 6th, so a 1st, Atkinson, Maroff, remember, look at the trade value. Brad Marchand's trade value is almost at half, it's about 40%, it's pretty good. He's a good young player, this guy could be part of our team, okay? We're giving up a 1st, which is the 30th overall pick right now, that's not a high 1st. All right, look at the trade value. It's about half, not even half, of Brad Marchand. Atkinson, which added with the first, doesn't even meet Marchand's trade value, okay? Maroff, who's not that high, and a seventh and a sixth. This is hoping to maybe get it there. <coughs> I can still see this not going through, so let's see. A first, Atkinson, Maroff, a seventh and a sixth for Brad Marchand. Let's see if it goes through. No, we, be, we may be able to massage this proposal into something. So that didn't even work. All right, so there you go. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to have to add a higher pick in there. Uh, I think Brad Marchand is the perfect player, boys. He's on the trading block. I'm going to try and get him. Uh, Brad Marchand, there you go. So let's add the same players that we did. Uh, who was it? Atkinson. A first. Maroff. Where is he? Maroff was a right winger? Yes, he was. There you go. 
and I can't add the sec the seventh and the so let's go down to the years that I'm not using again. This last year we'll add a fourth. <laughs> that last year's got nothing on it. Last year we'll add a fourth, and the second last year we'll add another fourth. So two fourths this time, all right? Atkinson a first and Marioff and two fourths for Brad Marchand. Let's see if it goes through. Yes, okay. There's not too much to deliberate about on this deal. I think the Boston fans will think that we came out ahead. So it's not that big of a trade. They're not. They're not saying that we'll be cheering in the streets or anything like that. All right. So we got our uh, we got our one key to the puzzle that we wanted. So that's good. Um, I won't do the best lines just yet. Uh, ah, crap. I don't want to do best lines because it could mess up our penalty kill and defensive lines. I don't want to do that. Oh, is it best lines? Oh, it's best lines for down here. It's for Springfield. That's fine. Yeah. All right. There you go, and now we have to try and make our one trade for our defensive core. It was either uh, Ottawa or Florida. Schlemko, no, we don't need you. Ottawa or Florida. So let's check out Ottawa first, their defenseman. It was, uh, we're not going to be able to get Carlson. I'm not even going to try it, boys. It was Phillips, who's in, oh, Phillips is a defensive defenseman. Never mind, I don't want him. I want uh, Gonchar, who's an offensive defenseman. 88 for offensive awareness passing. Yeah, he's good offensively. He'd be perfect on that third line or third line and then the uh cuz he's better than our third line defenseman and he'd be a perfect addition to the uh power play as well. So I just remember him Gonchar and also Florida. Let's see how good Brian Campbell was. He has four more years at 7.7. .7. Good god. Uh he's a bit better. Whose trade value was more? I think Campbell's trade value was a bit more than uh, Gonchar's. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we're going to go for Gonchar. 38. He's the perfect kind of player that I'm looking for. He can retire after this year. Nothing special, but he can help out our power play and our third line defensive core. And he's actually better defensively than uh, Moore or Savard or whoever's down there. So it won't be a big deal. It'll, it will make our team better. Okay, so Gonchar. Here we go. This is where we make up for our, uh, all of our young prospects. Now we can make some moves for some veterans. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six is our worst offensive defenseman, Savard. So I think I'm going to trade Savard for, because uh, look, he only has the B- minus for offense and now the C. See, he is better. Gonchar is better defensively, all right? And this guy is not going to get any better defensively. He might get a bit better offensively, but nothing special. And by that time, I can make up for it in the future. Because we have Murray, who's going to come up. Dahan, who can come up. All right. We still have young prospect. Quint, who can come up. All right. Moore, we're going to trade. Uh, no, it wasn't Moore. Sorry. Savard, we're going to trade. One, two, three, four, five. Then Gonchar. All right. What about this Moore guy as well? I think I might want to trade. No, we'll hold on to him. He still has the B minuses. So we'll hold on to him. So we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to give up one defensive prospect though. Hang on a sec. Good Branson, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have to give up this Quint. Ah, I want to. No, we're gonna give up Moore. Ooh, they can't even accept that. Ah, ah. It's gonna take a lot of trading here. Uh, give me this guy because he's yeah okay. It was just the trade value. Okay, so we're gonna have to add something big to this. Gonna have to add something big to this. Uh, I'm gonna add a second, a third, and a third. There you go, boys. I know. After this, we're gonna have no picks lower than a fourth. Oh my gosh, we have just get, gotten rid of all of our draft picks. But that's fine, that's fine. With this move, we're giving away two young guys, a second, a third, and a third for Gonchar. All right, with this move, we're showing that we're trying to make the playoffs. We really are. We really are trying to make the playoffs. I don't think this will go through still. I, I don't think it will go, but let's check it out. Savard, Moore, second, a third, and a third for Sergey Gonchar. Let's see if it will go through. No, still won't. And it's insulting too. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's going to be hard to get this guy. I'm going to have to trade away one of our young guns, boys. I'm, I'm holding on to too many players here. Uh, no, I don't need that from Phoenix. Propose the trade. Uh, we got a long trade deadline going here. Well, that's all right, though. Uh, defenseman. All right, so Gonchar again. We're going to have to get rid of somebody here. Somebody. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to have to get rid of that one defenseman again. All right. Savard. There you go. Now I'm going to have to add a forward. I'm going to have to add a big forward, boys. Somebody somebody has to go to get this. Uh, it's not going to be Grigorenko, that's for sure. Not going to be Johansson, Raymond, McClement, Niederreiter, Kabanoff, ugh, Shaw. Okay, it's going to be... It's got to be... Uh, I got one sniper in the... I got... Four, I got four. I got a sniper, a power forward. I got to get rid of Kavanaugh for Niederreiter, boys. I got, I have to. All right, because I have. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of one of these guys. I'm gonna get rid of Niederreiter, boys. I know, I know it's a lot, but he's a sniper. But I already have Grigorenko and uh, Kavanaugh who can take over. He only has a B minus for offense. Okay, it's kind of turned out to like Kadri for our Toronto B a GM, where he's just he just didn't he could have been better. He still could have had that A for offense, but he dropped it. All right. Yes, I'm making this decision. We have Grigorenko, Shaw, uh, Kabanov, Johansson, all young wingers. We can we can afford this. All right. Savard, Niederreiter. All right. That's a bit more on the uh, the trade value, so that'll help. And now. I don't have to add all the thirds and stuff, but I'm going to add the second, all right, and two fourths, all right, I oh, didn't do it, sorry, there you go, all right, so Savard, Niederreiter, second and two fourths for Sergei Gonchar, come on, come on, you wanted to trade him, he was on the trading block, I still don't think this will go through, come on, Sergei Gonchar, will he be part of the Columbus Blue Jackets for the playoff run? Yes, he will, all right, I doubt anyone will think that we can't, uh, that, I doubt anyone will think Ottawa came out on the short end of the stick with this trade, so it's a done deal. All right, boys, that was big. That was big. We dropped some of our young prospects, but we have a playoff team now. We definitely have a playoff team. So in this video, we'll wrap it up. We'll just quickly do... I don't want to do best lines because I don't want to mess with anything here. We're going to add Gonchar to it. There you go, right there. We're going to take Yakupov off and add Marshawn. There you go. All right, we'll just quickly. You guys can see the lines up lines now. So Marshawn's down there. I'm gonna leave Gonchar on the third because I don't want to mess with the defense. Where remember the best defensive team in the league with the best penalty kill. So I don't want to mess with the top four. Gonchar is only an addition now down here. He only makes this better. But I don't want to mess with the top four. Power play now instead of Yakupov, we're gonna have uh, we're going to have where was he? Uh, Johansson. There he is. All right, and now we're gonna put Gonchar. On the first line power play. That should help out with that. All right. Uh, same thing over here. Gonchar over here. All right. That's it for there. Doesn't touch our penalty kill. So our penalty kill is still fine. Doesn't touch our penalty kill. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, we'll put Marshawn. Sure, why not? Nabokov and Dubnik. All right. So there's our NHL lines. Uh, we'll quickly... Hang on. Manually edit. Uh, manually edit. Best lines for Springfield. All right, still got to send down Yakupov. Hang on. Yakupov. Oh, I got to send him down to the juniors. That's fine. He's down to the juniors. All right. Voinov. We send him. No, okay, we're fine. All right, so now our NHL teams look like that. You guys know. Let me know if we should make any changes. Our AHL team looks like that. All right. Let me know if we should make any changes. So there you go, boys. That's the end of the trade deadline. I'll wrap this up. We picked up our two keys that we... That we needed to basically our offensive defenseman to help out with the power play and the third line defensive core. No, thank you. And we also picked up Brad Marchand to help out with that third line instead of Yakupov. So I think on paper we've made our team better. But here's the thing. Have I messed with the chemistry now? Oh my goodness. So in the next video, we'll finish up the regular season and prepare for the playoffs. Alright boys, I'll see you then.